Well, hello, it is I, your friendly neighborhood trash panda. So today we have a massive thrift haul. I would like to point out that most of the items today are not for me, they're for my whatnot shows because I technically run a business now in order to keep my lights on because Lord knows I'm always late on my utility payments. Big shout out to my husband for working super duper full time over time to um, keep us afloat financially and I'm gonna try my bestest to uh, do you proud with this channel. We're trying to get to 10K, so make sure you guys like this video, make sure you are subscribed, make sure you hit the bell notification. If you love thrift, if you love cottage core, if you love fairy core and all that stuff, because that's what we do on here. I also have Instagram and TikTok, but you know what? I'm not gonna plug too much at the beginning because I know that's annoying and I know you guys are hitting the, the, the forward button. Anyway, so before we get started on the haul today, I do have some footage of the actual thrifting. So I'm actually going to insert that. So we're gonna go back in time a little bit and um, you're gonna see me thrift. Some of the footage is from weeks ago and then some of it was from today. And we're gonna be hauling stuff from a normal Goodwill store, a Goodwill bins, and then a charity shop. Although we'll probably do the charity shop first cause that's gonna be in the montage from weeks ago, so. Roll the clip! later. Many hours later. Holy crap. And we are back. It's time to haul some crap because I got a lot of stuff today. Some of it will actually be hauled in a different video in my Fantasy Core Run Fair show haul thing where I tell you guys how to thrift for run fairs and Fantasy Core and photo shoots and all that stuff. So um, I don't know if that video is coming out before this or after this, but you'll know, you guys will know, and future me will know. Okay, so just right off the bat, I'm going to haul, hey, beep, 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 there we go. This here frame, which I got at one of the charity shops. It is the, I believe it's a snow line. I don't, I don't know, I'm not really too familiar with that thrift shop and it's kind of a mess, but it is really cute, very vintagey looking frame. And you know, you guys know me. I'm planning on hanging this one up on the wall and I, I really want my like ornate, menagerie wall that I'm doing to have like some different colors and textures and shapes and stuff. So this is perfect. I also thrifted this little jewelry box at Goodwill a few weeks ago. It also has a little drawstring bag, just super cute and like a mirror and little compartments. Super cute. I think this would be really good for traveling to keep jewelry all organized when you're traveling. I think that'd be really nice. 
Also, at the other shop, the charity shop, the Fabulous Finds on Fulton, I got this little, oops, backwards, this little box. Also kind of like a little, little jewelry box, but super cute and I don't know if you can tell but it's like a burgundy velvet so this is for these, these items are for me um, unfortunately the, the items that I got on this trip for my whatnot shows have already been sold so I'm not gonna show them because I can't unless I pop up pictures but honestly what's the point so and then today I'm actually going to just grab stuff randomly and tell you which store I got them at because I didn't really organize it that well so we're gonna just go right through it so first things first I got this dress it is pink and it almost feels like gauze or i don't know i might do a try on clip i might not but super cute i if it fits me i might be tempted to keep it and if not it will definitely go into the cottage core show and i'm actually going to pop up the dates of my upcoming shows right here so you guys can uh click the link in my description and sign up for whatnot and get 15 percent or 15 dollars off your first purchase and if you already signed up you can go and bookmark my shows next i got this little light chambray denim sundress which i envision this to be worn as like a pinafore with like another top underneath super cute it has pockets which you know if it has pockets it's automatically superior and then i all this is super bright orange but it's a vintage probably from like the 80s or 90s button up and it's this beautiful gingham print very cute just a little button down not for me it's a little bit too bright for my taste but i i'm probably gonna put it in this is a cottage core show uh speaking of cottage core show this would actually work in the fantasy show as well but i feel like this is more like german dutch cottage vibes this is another is this vintage no but it's ralph lauren so i mean it's a good brand very cute Next, I got this H&M kind of a overall dress. It's not buttoned up, but I had one similar by, I don't remember the, the brand, but, but it was in um, corduroy. That's the word I'm looking for. I end up selling that at a show. This is also going to go in the show. Pretty much everything is going to go in the show because I need money. Oh. <laughs> Gotta spend money sometimes to make money, right? Am I right? I have quite a few of these really cute little cottage core, grandma core nightgowns. I thought this one was really pretty because of the embroidery. And so I picked this up. I'm kind of tempted to keep this because I love these. I have a couple for myself and they're so comfy. Um, there's another one in here, but I it's not within reach, so. Next, we have this Delia McCain. I don't know that brand, but a very cottage core, like crocheted sweater. It's a cardigan, very cute. And then another item that I actually picked this up. I would wear this if it was my size, but it's a 2XL because I always try to make sure there's a couple plus size items in my shows. It is this super cute springy off the shoulder top. And I know this is more for spring, but I'm gonna include it in the cottage core show. And then if it doesn't sell, I'm just gonna save it for a spring show. Not everyone likes to dress in autumnal colors. I have a few intimates. So if anyone is looking for like slip dresses, I found this really beautiful like aqua blue one and then it has like some lace on the bottom it says it's a large but it looks more like a smaller medium and the brand is romantic moods made in the usa so it is vintage really cool oh <laughs> i found the other nightgown okay let's do that um <laughs> this one is open it so i well it's i need to button it but really cute another vintage nightgown this is carriage count court court ah. And then this is a Zara tapestry dress. This is like an extra small. It's extremely cute. I definitely can't wear this, but this will be going, I'm gonna put it in the cottage core show possibly or the Whimsa Goth show, which there is gonna be a Whimsa Goth show. Speaking of right on top, we have this beautiful silky celestial robe in this red color. It's very long and very flowy. Can't really show the whole thing in frame, but it's beautiful. And kind of along the lines of like the 90s and the intimates. Firstly, there is this bubblegum pink nighty dress. And then with it, it has a matching silky robe. And then in terms of clothes from the bins, let's let's pull some stuff out. Um, firstly, we're, I'm gonna do this first because it is another nightgown. I will need to wash this pretty well, but it is a Christian Dior silky lacy nightgown it has some stains so i'm gonna have to soak it or do something to get it out i i kind of made a scene <laughs> when i found it i was like oh that silky thing and i pulled it out i'm like christian dior and i look like, because at the bins you got to be 
You gotta watch yourself because people are very competitive. I think the book resellers were there, but I did manage to get a few books there, but I had to really push my way my way in there. But we'll get there in a moment and soon. Um, also at the bins, this isn't closed, but it's like linens. It is this really pretty crocheted and cotton, I believe, or linen table runner. And then let's see if I can find the other linens. I found a whole bunch of these like doily slash napkins. Um, this really needs to be washed. There's like black specks on it, but all this is going to be thrown in the washer together. Um, and then there's a few of these. There was like a whole set together. It has really pretty embroidery. Sorry, embroidery. I can speak. Uh, can you focus, my dear? Oh, there you go. Thank you. So there's, I think, two or three, no, two of these. There's a few sweaters in here. There's this beautiful, soft Essex Junction medium acrylic cardigan. Very, like, slouchy, creamy, kind of shorter cardigan. And then I have another cardigan here. This one, I believe, is from Old Navy XL. This beautiful teal color. I think that'll go in the Whimsicoth show instead of the Cottagecore show. Ooh, I forgot one item from the regular Goodwill. I was so excited. I don't know if this is actually my size. I hope it is, but I don't think it is. It is this tartan plaid pinafore dress. It's Norton McGlock. Oh, I don't know how to say words. It's easy to say. It's just my brain just doesn't want to say the word for some reason. All right, back to the bins. I also found this really cool crocheted vest. Um, the back is kind of a polyester and then the front is this crochet. And then another cool thing is that the buttons are like somewhat mismatchy, but they're these carved buttons and it was a light item. So you guys want to know how much I paid at the bins? I bought tons of stuff at the bins, $16. The bins are superior, honestly. Like, you don't even want to know how much I spent at the regular Goodwill today. And then more home stuff. This beautiful placemat. And I tried to find others and I couldn't find it, but there's like little strawberries on it. So cute. Tempted to keep this one, but cottage course show, obviously. This one I am keeping, possibly. I need to wash it and try it on, but a rust colored like tank top, but it's a knit. And this is by Everlane, which I believe is a bougie brand or at least more expensive than what I'm used to buying. But then again, I don't ever buy stuff new, so. But I feel like it's, it's like a brand that influencers like. Next, we have these stretchy waist pinstripe pants. And if they don't fit me, they'll probably go in the Whimsicott show. I feel like they're very like, I feel like they would fit that better. And oh, these shorts, I haven't tried these on. I don't think they're gonna fit. They look tiny, but look at these. They have like this lace up on the front and then like a little bit of lace on there. So cute. And they are shorts, but they look tiny. Another like linen thing, but this is more of a, like just a piece of fabric. You do find fabric scraps and pieces of fabric there, but I thought this was really pretty. So I did get this and don't at me. I did get socks, but I thought they were really cute. I'm, I will wash them, but they're like these cute little Nordic looking socks. Listen, I pick my battles. I don't buy bras. I don't buy underwear. Um, holy autumn Batman. Look at this cute little plush. Ooh, Pumpkin, he's so cute. Obviously, yes. So freaking adorable. So, and then last item from the bin. Well, no, never mind. <laughs> last item that's on the side of me from the bins is this cute little cottage core straw hat, and I believe it's meant to be hung on the wall. I saw one hanging on the wall at a an estate sale that I went to, and that's kind of like the idea behind this. I'm probably gonna put this in my cottage core show because it's a little too grandma core for my house. My cat, my house isn't really grandma core, even though I like the style. It's it's. It's more like royal fairy tale dark academia vibes with a little bit of cottage core mixed in but not like your grandma's bedroom kind of vibes but I know this is like some really cottage core girlies vibe or they're more lean towards like the soft side of cottage core so that's what this is but so that this is gonna be in the cottage core show on whatnot all right let's get into books I only bought a few of these books there was like a whole humongous set and I I didn't want to separate the the set but also I didn't want to walk away with none of them them, so I just bought these but these are children's books and I have a few of these books already in other editions so I'm probably gonna put these up in a show at some point but we've got Alice in Wonderland King Arthur Robin Hood and Arabian Nights and then another there was another set of old kids books and again I only bought three of these but they have like illustrations on the front. I think there were like six of them, but at this point I had already loaded my cart up and I was like, I really can't afford anymore. But then the guy came in with like the brand new cart of all the new books and I saw a bunch of vintage books on it and I was like, and I stalked him and watched as he put books on the shelf. One more book though, at least from 
the first Goodwill and then we have some in the, in the other thing. I found Little Women. And the first thing I saw was the spine, which focus. <laughs> okay, so first up from the bins where books are 15 cents instead of 2.99, which is so much better cost. We have this cute little cottage book filled with like cottage, like the most cottage core you've ever seen illustrations. So that's cool. I need to figure out if I'm gonna actually sell that or not because I love it. Another book that I got is, it's just one encyclopedia from a set, but I obviously I couldn't find the others because it was at the bins, but I thought it looked so cool. So I picked this up. And then another book that I grabbed just because it looked cool, but I have no idea what it's about is this one. And I, Genghis Khan. Okay, now I know. It's about Genghis Khan. The absolute best thing I found though in that section is the box set of the two towers, the extended edition, the collector's one, and it has like special features. I'm trying to get it without the, the glare. I should have checked if the, all the discs were in here before I just bought it. Yeah, they're, they're all here. And is there art in here? There's like a, <gasps> ooh. Okay, so it's the, the, the menu, but it looks like a map. Oh, this is so cool. I actually looked for the other ones to see if they were in there, but I couldn't find them. I did find another DVD of Lord of the Rings, the first, um, the Fellowship of the Ring, um, but it was, it was not the extended version and it was full screen. No! So I did not grab it. I believe this is widescreen. Um, yeah, and this is gonna look so cool on my bookshelf. And now I just need to find the other ones. And it's in great condition too. Sometimes you get these and they're like beat up. I got this super cool like steampunk shabby chic box has Paris on it. It's just a little bit broken, but like this is nothing, a little bit of elbow grease and maybe some hot glue can't fix, you know? It's missing the, like the screws, but like I can, I can figure this out. I remember seeing a box like this at a friend's house and I loved it. And I wondered where they got it. And I was like, oh, it's probably like TJ Maxx or Ross or Home Goods, but they're always like $20 or even more. And this was, I don't know, but I didn't spend more than $16 for like a whole cart of stuff. So it couldn't have sent me back that much. I just have to fix it up a little bit and it's perfect. And then another thing that I got, which is big old basket. Perfect for picnics, perfect for storage. And I love that it has the handle, maybe for photo shoots. I don't know. It's absolutely perfect and actually helps me carry some stuff out, which was great. And next we're gonna get into a lot of the home stuff that I picked up at the normal Goodwill store before we went to the bins. Cause that stuff is just right here. Firstly, we have two mirrors, which were in separate sections. This is gonna be for the Whims of Goth show. We have this moon celestial, sorry if I'm flashing. Sorry if this is like super bright and it's reflecting, but we have the smaller one and then we have the big daddy. Oh look. It is the camera. There is some chipped paint on here, but I'm pretty good about painting stuff, so I'm just gonna fix it up. And then for the cottage core show, we have this beautiful painting, and it has a little stringy in the back, so it's perfect to hang. Mm, I'm so tempted to keep this. Oh, this is so cute. And it opens. So freaking cute. Like the little bears in the little teapot cottage is so precious. I want it. Um, I don't know. I'm probably gonna put in the cottage core show. It's okay. I have plenty of things in this hall that I'm keeping, like a, a few, a good healthy few. Cause I, if I kept everything, my husband would be livid. He's already kind of annoyed at me all the stuff that I bought, but I'm like, hey, it's fine. I'm selling most of this, so. That's a write-off. And I like set up a whole corner for my inventory. I liberated some shelving that we got, we were gonna get rid of, so, from our old pantry. Because my brother redid our pantry, because I don't know, if you have, this is for our first time you're watching this video, or watching me. This, if this is the first time you're watching my channel, my brother lives with me and my brother. What did he say? My brother lives with me and my husband. Good God, I can't talk. Anywho's, um, yeah, so he, he, uh, fixed up the pantry and we had some like crappy Ikea shelves in there that we got rid of, so, and I kept one. Why am I telling you this? This is not interesting. All right, you know me in frames. We've got a pressed flower frame and I'm always finding frames like this. And then another one, but it has butterflies. Another grandma core one with kitties. I actually got this for my mother-in-law, uh, but she told me I should try to sell it first and if it doesn't sell, she'll take it. Last, but certainly not least, we have two more frames. We have this like kind of shabby chic triple frame. And then this will probably go in the whims of goth with some artwork in it that I that I put in it. Some uh, botanical prints or something. Yeah, so I accidentally put this dress in the fantasy core show like area um, for when I, I filmed that haul. And um, yeah, it doesn't go there. This is a polka dotted 
mint green pinafore dress. Super duper cute. This is a size large. The brand is Express. Ooh, she fancy. So yeah, that's that's gonna be in the cottage core show. So that's I think that's it. Otherwise, editing Scotty insert it or something, I don't know. So yeah, we did forget two things. Uh, firstly, we have this teapot, which I found while going through the kids section. This is not a kid's item, but I guess someone just stuffed it there. Uh, debating on whether I wanna keep it or not or put it in the cottage core show, we shall see. And then the other item I forgot is this wall candelabra. I'm debating on whether or not this is gonna go in the Cottage Core show or the Whimsagoth show. I think at this point the Cottage Core show has enough, um, so it'll probably go in the Whimsagoth show, so. Anyway guys, as I said, we're trying to get to 10K before the end of the year, so make sure you guys like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell notification, comment down below, it just whatever you want. What was your favorite thing that I hauled? Are you concerned for me and my wallet that I keep going thrifting? And if you are, don't be because I'm selling all of this stuff. Uh, make sure you guys sign up for Whatnot if you haven't already, if you want to hang out with me live and buy some stuff, please. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming back always. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>